family you're welcome back to purposeful parenting channel my name is jessica so today i want to share with us a secret that will open great doors for your family so what is this secret the act of thanksgiving the act of thanksgiving so today we are going to start with the word of god let's start with the first scripture i'm just going to take two scriptures the first scripture, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. And the Bible says, in all things, give thanks to God. Let me stop there. In all things, give thanks to God. And let's go to Philippians 4 verse 6. And the word of God says, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and subligation, with thanksgiving. Make your petitions known to God. So we need to learn how to give thanks to God. Or even go back to giving thanks to God. God, I thank you that even though we don't have our own house, but you gave us a safe place that we can afford without stress. God, I thank you that even though my children are not attending the best of schools, Yet you gave them to me, male and female. We need to go back to thanksgiving. We need to thank God. Because the truth is, there is always something to be grateful for. Thanksgiving is a mystery that multiplies. Ah, how did I speak this into our hearts? Thanksgiving is a mystery that multiplies. For everything we are thanking God for. It, that thing is not going to remain the same as of the time you were thanking God about that particular thing. Thanksgiving is a mystery that multiplies. There is an energy that comes from Thanksgiving that even edifies you, even you that is giving thanks. So in as much as you are expecting more, yes, we need to be expectant, right? So in as much, that, in as, much as you are expecting more from God, for your family, you are trusting God for more. You need to be thankful. You need to be grateful. Why? Why do you need to be grateful? Because your family level, no matter the level you are now, your family level, it's someone's prayer points. Should I repeat that? Let me repeat it for emphasis sake. I said your family level, no matter the level you are now, it's someone's prayer point. So no matter what, no matter what, no matter what, never take your eyes away from what God has done. No matter what, Thanksgiving is a mystery that multiplies, a mystery that breaks door, a mystery that brings multiple blessings. No wonder the scripture says, with joy, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Not one well. Let's paraphrase that scripture. With thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. You are opening yourself to more. With thanksgiving. You are opening up your family so that you can receive more. But let me also say that. Thanksgiving is... It's not a license for mediocrity, right? But it's a tool or a weapon that will lift you out of mediocrity. So resist the temptation that comes to make you complain. Complain about what God has not done. What about what he has done? So avoid unhealthy competition or comparison. You can be inspired you can be challenged, you can be motivated, but not intimidated. So avoid unnecessary, unhealthy comparison or competition. If you cannot pay three million for your child's school fees, look for a school that is within your range or capacity. And be grateful and thankful that your child is even attending school. Even in that school, there are people that are giving their best. There are good teachers that are giving their best. Do you need to know that it's, all, it's not all about big building? So be grateful. 
to reject associations that put pressure, associations that mount pressure on you or on your finances. Anyone that does not accept you as you are is not worthy to be in your circle. Anyone that does not accept you as you are is not worthy to be in your circle. Now, let me talk to the mothers or to the wives. I encourage you to stop putting pressure on your husbands. Instead, encourage them, support them and pray for them. Stop trying to live social media fake life. Don't do things because it is trending and you are incurring depths upon depths. Don't give yourself sleepless nights that you develop health problems. That even when the money comes, when God now puts you in, in, in the position of abundance, you can no longer enjoy it. Instead, you are spending the money in the hospital. Don't do that to yourself. So today, I encourage you as parents, learn to cut your coat according to your size. Stop comparing. Stop competing. And be grateful for what you have now. Why expecting? Remember, the children are always watching. They are imitators. They are more of imitators than listeners. And nothing will give you great joy as a parent to raise a grateful child. Oh God. Nothing will give you great joy as a parent to raise a grateful child. A child that is brought up in a grateful atmosphere. In a thankful environment. That child will go far. So go do what works for your home. And I encourage you to be always grateful. And give thanks to God at all times. No matter what. Because thanksgiving is a mystery that multiplies. If you do not get anything from this video today, don't forget that phrase. Thanksgiving is a mystery that multiplies. So I'm grateful that you are with me to the end of this video. Thank you very much, family, for all your support and encouragement. So this is where I'm going to stop today. So like usual, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Share this video with your family and friends. If you found value in this video, like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to turn on your notification. So see you again, family, next week Monday. Bye for now.